What's up? Guys, welcome to my channel. Today we got the Traxxas X01 over here. We broke right in the front. Uh, crash at like 70 mile per hour. As you can see right there, the axle shaft broke. So we do have a new axle right here. All right, not cheap. Part number right there. Uh, do have a set of control arms up in here. They all of them. So that's how they come. And we're gonna fix this bad boy. It should be a simple, quick fix. Only worried about the how hard it's gonna be for the front one, front axle here, uh, control arm, because all this is black in the way. All right, so let's start off. Move this wheel. Comes off. And there you go, everything is broken up in here. So it's gonna be a quite bit of a repair here. We're gonna have to take off a whole bunch of stuff and let's work together. All right, to take out the control arm, I can fish this front little metal brace here. There's a, like a one little screw on it. And I can get it from right here. Sometimes you have to work your way around things. And you don't want to take out everything just for one little screw. They should have left a small little hole in the front of this. And that would have made it much, things much, much easier. But this guy is out. Almost. Almost. A few more turns. Putting it back is not going to be so easy. Just this little guy right here. Alright, so it's loose. I can take it off my hand. And the little screw comes out. And it falls. I was expecting that. And we should be able to push off this little whole metal blue plate, plate over here. Coming out. Come on, come on. Is there something else holding this guy down? I think it's just these rubber pieces in here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Don't lose that letter rubber bushings. All right, so next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this little guy right here. So at least the shock is out of the way. Oh, so my shock here, little guy, took a little hit too, but that should be all right. I might have to fix that up a little bit, hammer it, straighten it up. I didn't notice that. Then that would have had all of that. So this bolt. Let's put it to the side here, and what we're gonna do is, and uh, we gotta get this axle out. This axle is gonna be a tough guy. So let's take off this grub screw here. Once we get this, oh, it got a thread locked on it. It got a lot of threading on it. But threading, I mean the thread lock. And we took a hit here, so it might not want to come out so easy. But let's see if this goes through. Yep, this goes through, so this whole thing got to come out. It's still got threading on it, uh, thread lock on it. That's good enough. Let's see if our axle is able to come out from right here. But nope. All right, so maybe I can push it from this end, from the inside. Nope. This thing is no joke. Should be out by now, you know. There's nothing else holding this guy. It might be just a lot of thread locking on it. Let's see if I could tap it from the back. Did it budge? It didn't budge. Okay, so we overlooked. This thing does have a little grub screw here and the whole axle turns with it. So we're gonna have to hold the axle and turn this guy. See that? That's also holding your axle in there. It's like a big little grub screw that grabs onto your axle. It has a lip to it. And after that, look at that piece of cake. Everything just comes out. The axle simply just comes right 
out. There you go, the little broken axle. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go get a small Allen key so we can remove the back end of this axle, the, the cup back over here. All right, so I got my little Allen key here. And it's a tiny one, all right. Uh, the grub screw seems to be loose. And it's coming right out. Come on, come on, don't stop now. All right, it seems to be out and I just need to grab it. And there you go. It's a tiny one. And your axle comes right off. So that's what it looked like, the broken axle. And here's a new one. Replacing your axle on the XO1. Next, we're gonna take this guy out of the box here. I think the packaging is more expensive than the axle itself. All right, can it open this guy? And I bet you there's no grub screws, no nothing in there. This thing is not cheap. Oh yeah, they do give you a little hardware kit. But we're gonna use all the ones because um, they have thread lock on it. It looks pretty good to me. But Simple job. So you take this little guy, you stick it in just like you took it out. You take your grub screw and you stick that in right from that hole. And where's my Allen? Tiny Allen. Okay. And this goes in. It has thread locking on it. I thought it didn't, but it do have it. And this is just a hand, this was a hand tight, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Once it stops, that's it, lock it in. All right, we're done there, that's, that was pretty fast. Let's do this, Let, while we at it, let's take out this control arm. So to take out the control arm, you need a bigger size Allen here. You're gonna take out this little guy in the back here, it's gonna be like a little shaft. And then we'll match up a control arm. The bearings look pretty good. This car didn't drive too much, I only have a few runs. It's a nice car, but breaks really easy. So hold it the same way you took off. And let's open up this packaging here. And inside we have almost like eight control arms. Let's see which one we're looking at. All right, so this one it says L. There you go, L, that was the first try. And this says R. This says L. This can also be used for the front and back. They're all the same. So let's put these. So there's four arms, not eight arms. So I did take off the little shaft from back there. You just slide it out of there. So let's see if it fits pretty good in here. Pretty good. All right. That's looking good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little guy, stick it in there. And I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to get this little shaft in there. So once I have the shaft in there, I'm going to slide it in and then we'll continue. All right, guys, still working on it. Got my control arm in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick this axle in there. So don't forget to stick this axle in there. Other than that, if you put the control arm in, it's not going to work out. Make sure both of your bearings on both sides are in. Let me just take a look on the opposite side before I even go any further. Because they're hard, but it's hard to see in there. There you go, one of my bearings fell out. Okay, that bearing is in there. So, we're gonna put this in. And this bearing over here is gonna line things for us. And everything should just sit really good in there. Look at that. This is pretty much done. All we need to do is get that little guy in there. You're not gonna see me do that one, so just make sure you do it properly and make sure you get it in there nicely and evenly. And if you're doing that, let's get this guy in. The grub screw goes in. And we're gonna tighten this up so this bad boy is ready for another run. 
I did like I think 100. Uh, one, uh, I did 84 mile per hour, 85. So I'm gonna have to beat that number. All right. So this little guy goes in the front here. I do have a little scrape right there, which shouldn't mean much to it. And we're gonna use our good old Allen here. So this one, don't go crazy tight it because you'll damage the bearing. So just enough so it snugs it. This is what brings the axle forward. But that grub screw is going to help you also. So this is like a safety mechanism here. Usually I don't see this in cars. And there you go. It's nice and free. And the last thing we're going to do here is... We're gonna put this little guy back together, just like that. The big little screw here, where did it go? Where did we put it? It's in here somewhere. There you go, this goes in, and this locks everything up. All right, there's our Allen. So it's a new axle, remember, it's gonna have to create its own threads so it's gonna be a little bit tough but let's move this thing around and you should be able to get it in there and then we're all done so I'm gonna leave it there thank you for watching guys and don't forget to follow the instructions and don't forget to do it right and after that put on your tire make sure you put that screw back there and you're all done